Hey everyone, welcome to another Anime Kingdom First Impressions. As you see by the title below, yes, this is on episode one of Gamers. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie here. When I was looking at what animes I should watch, you know, and review for this season, um, the only big reason that this one stood out for me was the fact that it's about video games. Um, if you didn't already know, I am a huge gamer. I've been playing games my whole life. So whenever I see something that has something to do with video games, I always want to check it out. So when I saw this anime and it said it was like, you know, about some video game club in the school and everything and the tags had rom-com in school I was definitely interested like oh, okay you know I get my romance fic I always love a good rom-com sure you know I know a lot of people don't care for rom-coms as much because a lot of times they really are generic and a lot of times they are the same old thing as every other rom-com but I was like hey it's a rom-com with video games I'm definitely I definitely want to go ahead and check it out you know and it definitely starts off with it being kind of like it looks like it's just gonna be generic and obvious on how it's gonna be with our main character he's kind of not not the so you know he's not so popular not really that confident um, all of a sudden this beautiful blonde girl comes along Tendo and she's also ends up liking video games as well and she ends up pretty much you know asking if he wants to join and from there it looks like he's probably going to fall in love with her kind of thing me and you know it's it was pretty funny at the beginning honestly when it was giving a description of her like she's super popular um top of the hierarchy and everything and ev and it just keeps going like oh not anymore or and it like it changed that changes because of him and you're thinking how does that happen you know it's probably because she falls in love with him or something like that and you know it's because she he i thought maybe it was the fact that he ends up making her fall in love with video games as well and people i guess don't like that it's, it's still funny to see when people think you know they make these kind of animes and stuff like that and when they look at people playing video games it's like oh look at that nerd what is he doing kind of thing it's like no actually not anymore i'm pretty sure most people in the world now actually play like there's a lot of people that play video games now it's not like a you know kind of a nerd thing it's literally just the whole world is practically playing video games so that's what is so awesome about video games now and that's why i like it when you see that there it's not so weird to see someone like this person playing video games obviously they still have that trope as this blonde girl isn't the type of person that they say is normally not you know would play video games and i guess i would still kind of agree she doesn't look like the type obviously and but also she does she loves video games so you think that it would be something along the lines like she her she's no longer popular because of that kind of aspect and that's how the anime was going to go um it you know follows up with pretty much <laughs> numerous comedy moments for example the one when he thinks that he's the chosen one he's the chosen one in a damn dating sim and he's going to get the girl obviously and then there's another guy's but oh i already invited him too and it's like Oh my gosh, wow, that sucks, honestly. And I was cracking up, I was like, man, I feel sorry for him, honestly. But then the guy ends up being nice, they end up becoming friends as well, and you think, okay, let's see how this club is going to be. The club, they go in, and it's not just, obviously, the reason why they're able to have this club, because pretty much, you know, why have a club? Why would the school allow a club when you're just going to be, you know, have, you know, just playing video games? There's no really, I guess, anything brought to the table kind of thing of being serious. But, of course, obviously, it's more of a competitive club actually and that's also another reason why our main character does, ends up not joining but pretty much i love the whole thing where there was like a um not mario game in there reference a not you know counter strike reference in there there's it was obviously counter strike it was obviously mario and honestly it was pretty damn funny i like i can't wait to see what other games they end up putting in there too and you have this one guy he's like a complete I guess she act, Tendo actually said that he's like he's actually like one of the top FPS players in the world, and this guy takes games really seriously, obviously. And it's funny because I'm not gonna lie, he kind of reminds me of myself when I'm playing, you know, video games, especially shooters. I actually get really competitive and really serious, and it's pretty funny when he's like calling people like, "Oh man, they're scrubs and stuff." Like, what the heck are you talking about, you know? And the puzzle guy is actually pretty damn good too because he's able to analyze the guy's moves and copy him, and he's actually even better than our main character, which is of course another reason why our main character kind of feels left out in a way, I guess. Um, and then there's also the girl on the side who's got big old pie, and she's a great. I guess she loves fighting games as well. So yeah, it's kind of like very competitive. They have a bunch of trophies and everything and i was like okay okay i'm actually liking this it looks like it get really cool you know serious gaming at the same time that's awesome um and then it's even more funnier when it comes to the point of them pretty much telling 
you know, why they got into gaming. You have the glasses guy, um, the pro FPS player. The reason for him is the fact that his father is a mercenary. And I guess that somehow equates to him learning shooter games. I'm not too sure on that. Like, did his father, since he's a mercenary, teach him how to play FPS games? Or was it he taught him mercenary kind of thing? So, like, shooting in real life. And that ended up making him good at video games? I don't know how that works. But it's just to make it seem, like, so serious and dramatic. The You know, the fighter girl over there is pretty much there because she's trying to get her friend from the dark side. And then, you know, one moment, you know, our main character is pretty much like, oh, I just like to play video games. That's how I am, too. That's really my answer. And I'd be like, damn, okay, this is getting a little awkward. Everyone's got, like, a serious, dramatic kind of moment. And then, of course, you have the puzzle guy. And you're thinking, okay him as well he doesn't have a big reason as well and then after he says oh yeah i lost all my memory and the only thing i can remember was puzzle games and i'm like total facepalm moment like oh my gosh dude what the hell all these guys have these super huge kind of reasons on why they play games of course tendo doesn't really show hers and in actuality we don't really learn much about tendo i want to learn more about her gaming side she we see her playing games but we don't see what is her favorite type of game? What's her reason for gaming as well? Um, but the only thing that, of course, we do see at the very end with her is something, honestly, I was not expecting at all. This is the part that literally threw me off completely because it goes with him pretty much saying, you know, he's finally going to get the perf. You know, he never had much friends, but now he's, he's starting his year off right, playing video games with all these cool people, making friends and everything. The, you know, pro guy saying that he'll help him out and get him better. The other, you know, the fighting girl giving him the controller and everything. It looked like, oh my gosh, you know, it's going to be an awesome kind of year. And it's going to be like that kind of anime slice of life. And then twist, he rejects them. And then later on too, he's like full on just like, I can't believe I said no. I can't believe I said no. And I'm over here like, yeah, why would you say no? That's the perfect opportunity. You said you didn't have much friends. Now you're going to. You love video games. Here it is. And then, of course, he gets a second chance. Tendo comes along and says, you know, she's interested in him. She still wants him to join the club. And this is where everyone's, come, you know, gathering around kind of like, what the hell's going on? Did she just confess to him or something like that, you know? And he's full on, like, about to touch her hand, you know, take her, you know, her hand like he's going to join the club. And instead, he's like, Doo! holy crap, that was close. And he, it's because he almost, he was able to accept the you know helping out his friend who is i'm guessing gonna be another main character in the show and she's gonna probably join the club which probably means he's gonna join the club later on something along those lines and it's pretty funny because he's like oh i'm sorry i'm sorry i just had to do this i'm sorry i don't mean to be rude and the whole time he's playing the game and just full on not listening to her and i'm like are you kidding me this beautiful girl over here plays video games as well wants you to join the club which you wanted to you know you even said why the hell did you say no and then all of a sudden he's like no actually i just don't want to because you know it's kind of a serious environment and i want to play games for enjoyment and play games the way i want to and i'm over here like she said you didn't have to be a pro gamer you know you didn't have to be really good you could be there just to have fun and play games even if the rest of them you know some of them don't and some of them are taking it seriously you know but he ends up saying that he ends up rejecting her she ends up like in a he, literally i was this is kind of hilarious like holy shit um she starts crying saying why does this feel like a rejection and then you know run starts to run slips on a damn banana yeah that's cliche is like what the hell kind face plants and then runs away off after and that's probably why i'm thinking at least that everyone starts to her standings and her popularity drop because people probably thought of that as, as a confession instead of just you know and asking to join the gamers club and that's why her popularity drops i'm guessing or it may change even more later on i'm not too sure but overall it was an enjoyable anime you know i love the vibe that i got from it i love the character interactions i love video games so i can't wait to see what other video games they decide to throw in besides like you know like in this one had mario and counter strike so i can't wait to see you know what other ones they do have and i can't wait to see what's going to happen as this is a rom-com so i'm wondering who the romance really is is it going to be him and tendo or is it going to be him and you know 
that other girl, I forget what her name was, on the that he helps out on the phone. But overall, I definitely say that this is a really good anime, and I honestly can't wait to see the rest of it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this anime kingdom first impressions. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If there's anything and you want to talk about, comment below as well. And if you did enjoy this, for the like if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more content. And as always, guys, I want to hear your guys' thoughts. How did you feel about this episode? Good, bad, whatever you thought. What are you, are you excited to see the rest of the series? Or did you just think it was kind of boring and you didn't really care for it? Whatever you guys want to say, feel free to comment below. And until next time, guys, see ya.